right, what's going on people? Eddie Wynn, back. And today, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn an old sweatshirt into something fun and a little bit more wearable again. So old sweatshirts, old hoodies, old crewnecks, we all have them. They're sitting in our closets, they last a long time. For some of you guys, they're seasonal, so uh, they tend to sit in your closet for a while. So this is gonna be a quick tutorial on how to make those old sweatshirts a little bit more fashionable. Let me get this out of the way real quick. I'm not good at tutorials, I don't do them. I'm not like a DIY pro, I hardly know how to do anything. I can use a pair of scissors, that's about it. So I'm not geared towards gear, I'm not clean as apparel, like I'm not those guys. Like So uh, bear with me on this one. This is really simple though, and I've been asked a lot about it, so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. All you need is a pair of scissors, and you just cut the sleeves off. So I've done this to a lot of sweatshirts, crew necks, hoodies, whatever. I just cut the sleeves off if I don't like wearing them anymore and I see if it gives them a different look. The type of sweatshirt that works best for this, in my opinion, is something with French terry on the inside. It doesn't have to be, but I just think that looks the best. It tends to roll a little bit better on the sleeve as well. So if you have something that's French terry, go with that one first. The first hoodie that I chose to do this with is an Everlane Marl gray sweatshirt. I've had this for about two years now. I think it's one of the first things I ever got from Everlane and I decided to cut the sleeves off and I really like the look a lot. The inside is a white French terry so when you cut the sleeves off it kind of has this raw exposed edge and the white terry tends to offer a little bit of a contrast. I definitely like that look. Another thing that you should look for is something that has slimmer sleeves. It doesn't have to be but in my opinion I think that sleeves that are tighter look a little bit better. You can do this with any sweatshirt, but I personally think something that has slimmer sleeves looks a little bit better than say like a champion hoodie that has these super wide arms. Next up, you're gonna wanna find a t-shirt that has a good length on the arms that you like. So what you're gonna do is lay that t-shirt over the sweatshirt and make a mark for where the sleeves fall on the sweatshirt. So when you're wearing a t-shirt or something short sleeve and you really like the length on the arm, that's gonna be the same length you're gonna wanna put on these hoodies. So you lay the t-shirt over the sweatshirt, you make a mark, you make your cut, and you're good to go. I will say this though, you can't put back what you take off. So if you are worried that it's gonna to be too short, go a little bit longer than normal. You can always go back and take a little bit more off. Don't just make a random cut and hope it works out. Once you get one of the sleeves done, you just go over to the other side and make the same exact measurement and do it there. You can fold over the hoodie, you can take the sleeve that you just cut off and mark it on the other side. Once you get one sleeve done, it's easy to make the same cut on the other side. After you've cut both sleeves off, you can do whatever you want. If it's terry, it's going to naturally roll up a little bit. If it's fleece, it's just going to have this cool raw look. It might roll up. It depends. Once the sleeves are off, you're done. If you live in like Texas, Florida, California, somewhere where it's really warm and you just don't want sleeves, then you're done. You're, you're good. If you live somewhere cold like me and it's winter right now, I think it's a really dope look to wear something long sleeve underneath the sweatshirt. What I'm wearing here is a black long sleeve t-shirt and the the sleeves are a little bit longer than normal, so you kind of get that stacking look. This is from a brand called Manier de Voir. I've shown them to you guys on my channel before in just like a haul video or something like that. But it doesn't necessarily have to be from this brand. You can get one from The Gap, Old Navy, Target, whatever. The whole idea of this video is just for you guys to have something new and fun to wear that you don't necessarily have to go out and buy. But if you do buy a long sleeve t-shirt, they're pretty inexpensive, anywhere from like 10 to 15 bucks. I'll link some down in the description. I really like this sweatshirt. This Everlane marled gray sweatshirt was perfect for this look. So I've been wearing this all the time. Like I showed you guys, I also did this light gray joint, which I like a lot too. I don't have a white long sleeve, so next time I'm at the Gap or Old Navy, I'm gonna look for a long sleeve t-shirt so I can rock it with this. I've done this with flannels, jackets, whatever. Anything old, I'm like, I don't think I'm gonna wear that anymore. Let me cut the sleeves off and see if it changes the look. I've got this Nike LeBron sweatshirt that I did it to. I was not gonna wear this when it was a long sleeve. Now I wear it to the gym or just casually and it looks a lot better. This was fleece and it turned out fine. It just has that raw edge on it. There's a Nike logo on the left side that's right above the edge and it just looks perfect. This sweatshirt was asking for it. So this is the end product. Definitely a fan of it. It looks great. 
And uh, I had to share this idea with you guys because I think it's something you can do at home easily because all you need is a pair of scissors. So that's going to be a wrap on the tutorial. Hopefully this gave you guys some good ideas and you can try it at home. Feel free to tag me in your Instagram or Twitter picture if you do this and it works out well. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's down in the description. If you want a link to this sweatshirt, I will link it down below. If I find any other sweatshirts that are super cheap that you guys could buy and do this to, I'll link those as well. That is a wrap though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to you later. Peace.